everyone my dear students welcome back to the session we are discussing axial loading diagrams in stintha material course today we need to solve some problems in axial loading diagrams i already sent a booklet regarding axial loading diagrams just go through it now we need to start from the first question just have a look on first question which is given in the booklet regarding axial loading diagrams see first question here a compound bar okay subject run the axial loading and the dimensions of the compound bar is given in the figure now we need to determine total strain energy in the given bar okay so for that we need to draw axial loading diagram we know that total strain energy equals to of p delta of p delta okay by using that you can determine total strain energy in the bar total strain energy strain energy strain energy is nothing but area of p delta diagram okay so this is the thing okay half into p delta actually load taken on the x axis delta will be taken on the y axis correct hai p delta nahi hai okay so here total strain energy per unit volume is equal to area of the shaded portion of p delta take okay? of p delta in terms of newton meter or newton mm you will get it so first here we need to draw axial loading diagram draw axial loading diagram here it is positive okay so here it is a b c d now i am sure i have seen the load both are acting in same direction that means 15 kilo newton don't lift your pen until unless next load came now i am here i have seen the load no load acting so go up to here no load here and again come up to here now i am here i have seen the load both are acting in opposite direction that means negative come down total bar subject and the same amount of axial load that means pab equal to 15 kilo newton pbc is equal to 15 kilo newton pcd equal to 15 kilo newton okay so here it is nothing but of into p pl by ae we know that delta equal to pl by ae finally we'll get p square l by 2 ae p square l by 2 ae now total strain energy total strain energy okay so newton per mm means total strain energy per unit volume in the sense newton per mm square you will get it here total strain energy in the sense newton mm only here total strain energy in the sense strain energy in the member ab strain energy in the member bc strain energy in the member cd ab bc cd that means uh, p square ab l ab by a e ab take it so what is the thing here p square bc l bc by a bc e bc p square cd l cd by ए सी डी इ सी डी 
here p and e same in all the cases that means here take p square common by e p square common p is same in all the cases okay so here p a b equal to p b c p c d equal to p equal to 15 kilo newton p square by e taken common l a b by a a b here it is 2 is there na 2 2 2 p square l by 2 a e that means 2 you will get here then l b c by a b c l c d by a c d that means uh, here 15 into 10 cube all square newton square by 2 into 2 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square here what you will get l a b in the sense 200 mm by it is pi by 4 into 20 square mm square plus uh, this is how much six uh, this is how much 400 mm by pi by 4 16 square mm square this is 200 mm by pi by 4 into 20 square okay so it is in terms of mm square newton newton gets cancelled out mm square mm square gets cancelled out finally we'll get in terms of newton mm how much is this tell me how much you people are getting check it out we'll get 1835 newton mm Check it once. This is the procedure to determine total strain energy in the given bar. First, you have drawn axial loading diagram. Then you got you observed that it is uniform axial loading throughout the bar. Uh, it is subjected under 15 kilonewton axial load. That means PAB, PBC, PCD equal to 15 kilonewton. So we know that strain energy is nothing but uh, of into uh, p into delta so you need to calculate area of shaded portion how much you are getting 1835 newton mm Paka. so total strain energy in the sense your p square l by 2 a e so just apply this expression for a b b c c d finally you will get total strain energy equivalence to 1835 newton mm total strain energy this is the total strain energy 1835 newton mm here newton square now one newton gets cancelled out mm square mm square cancel out newton mm you will get it that's it next question number two write down question number two the figure just draw the figure 
F is acting here. This is F and uh, it is P is acting from here to here it is L. L P is acting here. So angst more or less is 3 here and E here. A B and a C and small less is E what they are asking the deflection at this point C to be 0 the deflection at the C is 0 delta C equivalence to 0 is given then P by F equal to dash P by F equal to dash. It is very simple. Here, just take R A. R A equals to sum of the left force equal to sum of the right forces. Here, sigma H equals to 0. Then, here, R A plus P equals to F. R A plus P equals to F. R A equals to F minus P. F minus P. Okay. So just uh, R A plus P equal to F. Now we need to draw axial loading diagram. It's very simple question. Draw axial loading diagram. It is positive. Draw pseudo axial loading diagram. Why? Because you don't know the magnitude of F and P. Now here it is A, B, C. Now I am here. I am here. I have seen the load. Both are acting in same direction. That means uh, we need to move up by F. Don't lift your pen until unless next load came. It is F. Now I am here. I have seen the load. Both are acting in opposite direction. That means uh, we need to move down by P. Here you can call it as F minus P. Now I am here. I have seen the load. Both are acting in opposite direction. Means uh, it is F minus P. You need to subtract F minus P from SF minus P. You will get a 0. It is positive. It is positive. Both are acting in opposite direction. Means we need to subtract it. Now, what is the given? Delta C equals to 0. That means. Uh, Axial deformation at point C means what? Axial deformation at point C with respect to fixed end. Take it. So, axial deformation at point C with respect to fixed end equal to 0. Delta CB plus delta BA equals to 0. Delta BA equals to 0. Then, P L by A E C B plus P L by A E B A equal to 0 then what you will get tell me what is the load in the member C B is nothing but F length of the member L area A and E will be E take it so in the mem in the portion B C E Area of cross section is same for both cases. Now, here P for what? What is the load in the portion BA? The load in the portion BA? F minus P into L by, here it is A. Here you will get 3E. Okay, now. So, N smallest in the portion AB is nothing but 3E. Equivalence to 0. That is given in the question. Now, here, write down. L by E, L by E gets cancelled out. A, F, you will get it. F plus, F minus P by 3 into L by A, E equal to 0. L by A, E, L by A, E, F plus, F minus P by 3. Next, 3, F plus, F minus P by 3. L by A E equals to 0. Finally, 4 F minus P equal to 0. Then 4 equal to P by F. Again, simple procedure. You need to draw pseudo axial loading diagram. 
Finally, P by F equals to 4. This question given in gate. Which year? Gate 2016. Here it is given in gate 2016. It's very simple question. Draw pseudo axial loading diagram, then apply equation like total uh, deformation at point C is zero given in the question. Deformation at point C means uh, deformation at point C with respect to fixed end uh, delta C A delta C B plus delta B A. Finally, we will get P by F equal to 4. It's very simple question. Take it. Next, uh, question number 3. Now, we can discuss question number 3. Have a look on the question number 3. Here, epistematic bar, subject under non-uniform axial loading condition. Here, they are asking total change in the, the axial deformation in prismatic bar. We need to determine. Just have a look on the question. Here, we need to determine total axial deformation and axial stress in the member LM. For that, we need to draw axial loading diagram. Okay, start from the right hand. K, L, M, N. It is positive. Tensile assumed to be positive. Now I am here. I have seen the load. Both are acting in same direction. Means positive. Positive means we need to move up by 50 Newton. Don't lift your pen until unless next load came. It is 50 Newton. Now I am here, I have seen the load, both are acting in opposite direction means negative. Negative means subtract 200 Newton from 50. You will get 50 minus 200 means minus 150. So here you will get 150 Newton. Don't lift your pen until unless next load came. Now I am here, I have seen the load, both are acting in same direction is positive. Positive means uh, we need to add 250 Newton to minus 150. You will get plus 100. It is nothing but 100 Newton. So come up to here. It is 100 Newton. And uh, now I am sure I have seen the load. Both are acting in opposite direction. Opposite direction means negative. Negative means minus 100, minus 100. Add minus 100 to 100. You will get zero. We need to move down by 100 Newton. It is positive, negative, positive. What is the total axial deformation in the bar? KLMN. Okay. So, total axial deformation in the bar KLMN equals to KL plus delta LM plus delta Yam Yen. Okay. So it is very simple actually. What is the load in the member PL by AE in the portion KL? PL by AE in the portion LM? PL by AE in the portion Yam Yen. What is the load acting in the member KL? KL is nothing but 100 Newton into what is the length of 500 mm okay so you can directly write 500 mm here focus on the units properly after that area is nothing but area is uniform mm square into this particular thing is how much 200 gigapascal 200 gigapascal 10 cube Newton per mm square plus PL. What is the load in the member? KLM is nothing but minus 150. Here you will get minus 150 Newton into what is the length? Here it is 500, 400. It is 1700. 1700 minus 900 is nothing but it will be 800 mm. 800? Yeah, of course. Hmm? No, yeah, yeah, correct. So, total 
फाइव हंड्रेड थर्टीन हंड्रेड अंड सेवेंटीन हंड्रेड ठीक है सो इट एंड इट इज एट हंड्रेड एम एम बाय टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम स्क्वायर इंटू टू हंड्रेड इंटू टेन क्यूब न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर आफ्टर दैट here it is the member mn subject under the tensile load 50 newton it is nothing but 50 newton into what is the length of the member mn it is 400 mm by 25 mm square into 200 into 10 cube newton per mm square finally you will get this Yeah, what is this? What is the value? Tell me. Hundred. It is five into ten to the power of four newton mm plus. No, it is minus. Minus fifteen into eight ten cube newton mm plus twenty into ten cube newton mm. By a is constant, twenty five mm square into two hundred into ten cube newton per mm square. Thus, you will get it. This is the total axial deformation. Just to do proper calculations. Finally, you will get in terms of mm. Correct, na? So newton mm. Mm square, mm square gets can Newton. Finally, will get mm. What is the answer? Tell me. Do calculations and tell me the answer. What you will get it? Calculate and tell me. How much you will get it? Here you will get. Minus ten into ten power minus three. Here it is minus ten micrometer. This is delta total in km n. Take it. So this is all about. It is a. It is how much? Minus ten micrometer. Okay, minus ten micrometer. Which option is correct? Option, option B. What? Yeah, your answer B is correct. So only delta total only asked in the question. Okay, now we can calculate sigma lm just for our satisfaction. Actually, in GATE two thousand four they asked. Total axial deformation in the prismatic bar. Take it. So, is it correct? Perfect. Minus ten micrometer. Minus ten into ten power minus three mm. So, this is the way to determine axial deformation in the given bar. Here, A equal to constant. Now. How to determine axial stress in the member? Here they are asking axial stress in the member L M. Here sigma L M. Before that, what is the load acting in the member L M? Is nothing but minus one fifty, minus one fifty newton. It is nothing but sigma L M equal to P L M by. Area of cross section minus 150 by 25 newton per mm square. Finally, how much you will get it? 25. Six zar na minus six megapascal. Okay. So sigma L M equal to minus six megapascal. Here delta total minus 10 micrometer. This is all about question number three. Next read up question number four. 
आई ई एस और ई एस सी जस्ट ड्रा द फिगर फास्ट इट इज फाइव किलो न्यूटन देन फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर हियर इट इज टू मीटर वन मीटर थ्री मीटर हियर टेन किलो न्यूटन टू किलो न्यूटन इज एक्टिंग हिया Three kilo newton is acting. Then they are asking uh, diameter d equals to three mm, three mm. Different points as shown in the figure e equals to two not five gigapascal. Total elongation of the bar nearly. They are asking nearly how much in terms of mm. They are asking. So A B C D ten two three five two one three. ठीक है. So now here we need to calculate delta total delta total in the bar A B C D dash M M. So here it is A B C D is given. Now we need to draw axial loading diagram as usual. ठीक है. So from here to here is very simple actually. So it is assumed to be positive. Tensile assumed to be positive. A, B, and then C. It will be D. Now I am sure I have seen the load both are acting in same direction. Same direction is positive. That means five kilo newton is moving upward direction. Come up to here. It is five kilo newton. Now I am here. I have seen the load. Both are acting in same direction. Means positive. That means uh, move up eight kilo newton and uh, come up to here. It is eight kilo newton. Now I am here. I have seen the load. Both are acting in same direction. That means uh, we need to move up again. Uh, two kilo newton. Come up to here. This is 10 kilo newton. Now I am here. I have seen the load. Both are acting in same direction. No. Now I am here. I have seen the load. Both are acting in opposite direction. That means we need to move down by 10 kilo newton. Everything is positive. Now delta total we need to calculate. Delta total equals to y is constant. Y is constant in all the cases. Then here P A B L A B plus P B C L B C P C D L C D. That means uh, here 10 kilo newton into 2 meter plus uh, P B C is how much? 8 kilo newton. Into one meter plus. Uh, this is how much? From here to here, eight uh, and five kilo newton. Five kilo newton into three meter by. What is the area of cross section? Pi by four into three square into two not five into ten cube newton per mm square. Here is it is in terms of mm square. Finally, we'll get in terms of meter. Take it. This is how much? Twenty kilo newton meter. Eight plus fifteen into ten cube newton meter by pi by four into nine two not five into ten cube. It is in terms of newton. Finally, what is the answer? Tell me. Aka. It is how much? Fifteen plus eight. Twenty-three. Take it. Twenty-three. Forty-three into ten cube newton meter 
इंटू फोर बाय नाइन पाई इंटू टू नाट फाइव इंटू टेन क्यूब सो हियर वाट विल गेट फोर इंटू फोर्टी थ्री बाय नाइन पाई इंटू टू नाट फाइव ओके सो हियर न्यूटन मीटर सो इट इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ न्यूटन फाइनली इन टर्म्स ऑफ मीटर यू विल गेट इट हाउ मच इज दस ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट नाइन एम एम करेक्ट ना नो 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 ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन एम एम आर यू गेटिंग द सेम या इन टर्म्स ऑफ एम एम इन टू टेन क्यूब एम एम ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन एम एम करेक्ट ना ठीक है एग्जैक्टली ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन एम एम दिस इज द वे टू डिटरमाइन टोटल एक्सियल डिफॉर्मेशन ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन एम एम जस्ट ड्रॉ एक्सियल लोडिंग डायग्राम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव राइट एंड अप टू हियर इट इज आई ई एस सी टू थाउजेंड टू टू थाउजेंड लेवन आई ए एस टू थाउजेंड थ्री ठीक है इट इज वन मीटर टू मीटर ए C B टेन किलो न्यूटन ठीक है इट इज वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन इट इज दिस क्वेश्चन आस्कड एन ना various competitive exams engineering service and ias also it is simple problem actually here ae equal to constant ae equal to constant then we can apply method 2 method 2 to determine support reactions here it is ra okay so here it is rb Okay, so how to calculate R A? Tell me how to determine R A. So first focus on the ten kilo newton. Ten kilo newton and R A both are opposite direction. That means positive you will get it, and distance measured from another fixed end that is two meter by total length one meter two meter. It is twenty kilo newton meter by three. meter so here 20 by 3 kilo newton then rb equals to here rb and 10 kilo newton both are acting in opposite direction that means 10 plus 10 kilo newton distance measured from another fixed end you are trying to calculate reaction at the support b na so compare these two both are in opposite direction means positive write down 10 kilo newton and distance measured from another fixed end by 1 meter plus 2 meter equals to 10 kilo newton meter by 3 meter equals to 10 by 3 kilo newton then what is the answer what is the answer 20 by 3 and 10 by 
so a and b option a is correct option a is correct okay so ra equals to 20 by 3 kilo newton and here it is rb equal to 10 by 3 kilo newton we can solve this problem by using method 2 it is one of the shortcut to determine support reactions when a equal to constant now question number 6 It is some gap problem so we know how to solve this problem actually yeah <laughs> some gap is given from here to here delta gap is given and load acting here it is p so write down the write down the given data yeah e equals to 200 gigapascal of course it is steel then area of cross sections are 2 to Here it is 1 meter and then it is 1 meter length. Area of cross section delta here delta gap now 0.75 mm. Now AB and BC have area of cross sections of the M type chess now. 2 to 1 centimeter and 2 centimeter and I think it is 1 centimeter it will be 2 centimeters yeah diameters are given now we need to determine the magnitude of the load P required to fill up the gap of 0.75 mm okay it is just they are asking uh, uh, we need to calculate uh, p just to fill the gap uh, it is chota problem actually just to fill the gap uh, that means total deformation in the uh, this particular bar is 0 0.75 it's very simple just to draw axial loading diagram it is a B, C and D. R A equals to P. From here to here, thus is A, thus will be B, C. Start from here, it is of course positive. Don't lift your pen until the next load came. Now I am sure I have seen the load both are acting in the same direction means positive move up by P. And then come up to here it is P. Now I am sure I have seen the load both are acting in opposite direction that is why come down. Okay. So it is positive. Clear now? It is axial loading diagram. What is the total? Total deformation in the bar A, B, C okay so we need to calculate the magnitude of load p so that uh, it can fill the gap of uh, uh, 0.75 mm that means uh, it is equivalent to delta gap so delta total abc equal to delta gap that is given in the question given that okay so delta ab plus delta bc equal to delta gap so here delta BC equals to 0. Okay. So BC is not subject under any axial load. Delta AB in the sense of PL by AE. Okay. So here in the member AB is equal to delta 
gap. Lord, we need to calculate what is the length of the member AB. It is 1 meter means 10 cube mm. 10 cube mm. Oh, because delta gap in terms of mm. Next, AE. AE in the sense pi by 4 into d square 10 power minus 1. 1 centimeter equal to 10 mm. Take it. So, centimeter na we need to write in terms of mm okay so it is diameter whole square correct na pi by 4 1 centimeter equal to 10 mm okay so pi by 4 into d square mm square this is e e is nothing but 200 into 10 cube newton per mm square it is P in terms of Newton, 10 cube mm, equivalence to 0.75 mm. Everything you will get in terms of mm, finally. Take it. So, 4P into 10 cube mm by, it is Newton mm. Finally, pi into 10 square, 2 mm square, into 200 into 10 cube newton per mm square equal to 0.75 mm finally we'll get in terms of mm mm square mm square gets cancelled out newton newton gets cancelled out finally we'll get everything in terms of mm here how much is this 10 cube 10 cube gets cancelled out here p equals to 0.75 pi into 10 square into 200 correct now so this and this cancelled out 0.75 pi 10 square 200 by 4 you will get it so what is the value in terms of kilo newton tell me how much is this ah. here just calculate p equal to this yeah, 1 centimeter and 2 centimeter. Ah, yeah. Now tell me, what is the value of P here? 11780. 11780. 1170. Newton. That means P equals to 11.78 kilonewton. This is the answer. Take it. 11.78 kilonewton. Take it. Question number 6. Just they gave. Uh, here they didn't ask support reactions. Uh, just they ask what is the magnitude of P such that delta total in the bar ABC becomes equal to delta gap. That's it. So it's a matter of uh, using this equation, drawing axial loading diagram for this. Finally, you will get the magnitude of P equals to 11.78 kilo newton. Okay. Next, question number 7. Yeah, question number seven. Now, first draw the figure. So they explain the figure in a proper way. Next. that so from here to here some delta gap is given so here it is a b c d okay here how much what is the load acting here 65 kilo newton uh, 1.5 meter and then 2.5 meter what is the value of delta gap 
delta gap equals to delta gap equals to 1 mm delta gap equals to 1 mm and uh, it is 1 centimeter means uh, 10 mm it is 20 mm so finally they asking uh, the magnitude of stress in the portion bc sigma bc in terms of newton per mm square they are asking okay so that means uh, they will definitely you will definitely get a support reaction rd you will definitely get support reaction rd if you are interested you can check it out okay so you will get something like this here delta total here delta total okay delta total will be going beyond the delta gap if you have in doubt check it out just draw free body diagram initially so just draw free body diagram you will get this kind of free body diagram axial loading diagram 65 kilo newton 65 kilo newton this is a b c of course it is positive what is the delta total in the member a b c delta a b plus delta b c delta b c equals to zero then how much is this 65 into 10 cube what is l it is newton 1.5 meter by pi by 4 into 10 square what is the value of e is given i think 200 gigapascal what is the value of e is given in the question 20 into 10 power 6 e equals to 20 into 10 power 6 newton per centimeter square newton per centimeter square that means here 1 centimeter square 20 into 10 power 6 newton per centimeter square correct now here you can put a centimeter centimeter square what is the value of delta total here tell me in terms of mm tell me ek. thus finally we'll get in terms of mm okay put into 10 cube 10 cube mm finally we'll get in terms of mm 65 into 10 cube here 10 cube 10 cube 10 power 6 cancelled out 65 into 1.5 by 4 into 65 into 1.5 by pi into 20 that's it centimeter square 65 into 1.5 yeah into 4 you will get it 4 into 65 into 1.5 by pi into 20 How much? 6.21 What? 6.21 mm Here it is delta total 6.21 mm That means here delta total in the map or ABC is greater than delta gap Here delta total is greater than delta gap in that case rd is not equal to zero okay so you decided that now you can draw pseudo axial loading diagram pseudo axial loading diagram here it is ra it is RA, then you can keep uh, RD or else you can keep like this only, nothing wrong in that. RD, so sigma H equal to 0, RA plus RD equal to 65, RD equal to 65 minus RA. First you draw 65. 
65 minus RA. Pseudo axial loading diagram, no other option. So, first draw pseudo axial loading diagram, it is positive. So, come up to here, it is RA. Come up to here, so it is RA. Both are acting here, both are acting in opposite direction, that means move down. 65 minus 65 this kilonewton come up to here okay Ra minus 65 both are acting in the same direction means positive positive means add 65 minus 65 65 minus Ra to this finally will get 0 here it is what A B C it is pseudo Axial loading diagram. Then apply compatibility equation. Compatibility equation. Equation. Compatibility equation. Delta total equivalence to delta gap this is the compatibility equation we need to follow here delta total a b c delta a b plus delta b c equivalence to delta gap how much is this delta a b load in the member r a into what is the length 1.5 meter by a e pi by 4 1 centimeter all square into e 20 into 10 power 6 newton per centimeter square here it is into 10 cube okay here r a is in terms of kilo newton 10 cube newton newton mm finally it is newton here it is how much it is how much r a minus 65 into 10 cube r a minus 65 into 10 cube l is nothing but 2.5 into 10 cube newton mm by it is nothing but pi by 4 pi by 4 2 centimeter na 2 centimeter all square 20 into 10 power 6 newton per centimeter square 0.75 mm so this is all about okay so just calculate and tell me the answer how much you will get it yeah r a into 1.5 10 power 6 plus r a minus 65 it is kilo newton 2.5 into 10 power 6 by 4 equivalence to 0 0.75 into pi by 4 20 into 10 power 6 10 power 6 gets cancelled out okay so here r a into 1.5 plus r a minus 65 into 2.5 by 4 equivalence to 0 0.75 yeah 4 4 gets cancelled out no need to worry about 4 here take a 4 4 gets cancelled out take it no 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 pi by 4 yeah here it is pi by 4 20 in 20 that's it so don't cancel here just take pi by 4 to write that's it so here it is 4 will be remaining that's it correct now pi by 4 and 20 everything taken out okay so what is the answer here tell me what is the value of r a here it is 4 Pfizer then pi by 4 into 20 4 into r a into 1.5 plus r a minus 65 into 
by 4 0.75 into pi by 4 into 20. Finally, what is the value of Ra? How much you are getting? Here 4, 4 into 1.5. How much? 6 R. Correct now? 6 Ra means 6 8.5 Ra. 65 into 2.5. 65 into 2.5 equal ends to 4 4 gets cancelled out 0.75 into pi 20 how much is this 4 5 is a 47.1 finally re equal tell me dash kilo newton in terms of kilo newton Twenty-four point. Yeah, twenty-four point six five kilo newton. Then sixty-five minus that. How much is this? Sixty-five minus twenty-four point six five. Forty point. Kilo newton. Now we can draw actual axial loading diagram. This is pseudo. Now we can draw actual axial loading diagram. Okay, so now I am here. It is positive. Now I am here. I have seen the load. Both are acting in same direction. Means here it is 24.65 kN. Come up to here 24.65 kN. Both are acting in opposite direction, then come down, then you will get how much is this? 40.35 kN. It is compressive, of course. Then it will be negative. 40.35 kN. It will be positive. What they are asking in the member of uh, BC. What is the value of uh, stress in the member BC? Sigma BC is equal to PBC by area of cross section BC. This is how much? Minus 40.35 10 cube Newton by pi by 4 into 20 square. How much you are getting? Tell me dash megapascal minus 8. How much is this? 40.35 into 10 cube by pi by 4 20 square. So you should get, tell me what is the answer, how much you are getting? Of course it is compressive but they are asking the magnitude only. What? 128. 128 point yeah it is compressive in nature okay so final option is answer a okay exactly you are getting sigma bc equals to minus 128 mega pascal but options are given 128 approximately you will get uh, 129 okay so this is all about delta gap problem once delta gap is given how to determine the support reactions and finally the magnitude of stress in the member bc next write down question number eight oh, I am going to get 123 
रेडा क्वेश्चन नंबर एट चिन्ह इलाटी ओके ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इट इज वेरी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम एडा एक्निकल बार अटैच टू द प्रिस्मैटिक बार एस शून इन द फिगर ओके फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट इज टू एल एंड हियर टू हियर इट इज एल एल इट इज ए बी सी ठीक है नाउ here a load is acting here this is a uh, 2p and a load is acting here it is p gamma and gamma dash equals to gamma by 2 okay so here it is e e dash equals to e by 4 then they are asking what is the axial deformation in the bar a b c total axial deformation in the bar okay so a, a conical bar attached to the prismatic bar as shown in the figure it is subjected under axial loading a load p is acting at point c a load 2p is acting at point b the materials are given gamma e and gamma by 2 and e by 4 then they are asking what is the axial deformation okay so first draw axial loading diagram so it is positive of course it is positive a and then it is b of course it is c now i am here as now i am here i have seen the load both are acting in same direction means positive of course it is p p now from here to here now i am here from here to here we need to consider weight of the cone weight of the cone is varying parabolically with respect to length of the conical bar it is parabolically what is the weight here acting tell me gamma dash gamma dash it is a of course a and it is l by 3 okay na gamma dash here you can take l dash no issue no issue gamma dash is the material area length by 3 that's it now i am here i've seen the load both are acting in same direction that means uh, you will get 2p here okay from here to here the weight of the prismatic bar is acting weight of the prismatic bar is nothing but uh, uniformly distributed axial load weight of the prismatic bar is varying linearly with respect to length uh, it is varying linearly it is parabolically uniformly varying axial load this is point axial load it is 1 degree uniformly distributed axial load what is the total weight of the prismatic bar gamma area into length 2l okay so then uh, we can mine i think this is the load take it from here to here here to here now you will get it so here it is what p gamma dash in the sense gamma by 2 into a l by 3 of course gamma dash equal to gamma by 2 now here it is 2p finally what is the reaction at point a ra equal to p plus gamma al by 6 plus 2p plus 2 gamma al okay clear na now 
first focus on this it is point axial load point axial load this is also point axial load static load you can say point axial load it is uniformly distributed axial load this is point axial load uniformly varying axial load now we need to draw you need to calculate corresponding axial deformations now delta axial in the member a b equals to these three are point loads that means p plus gamma al by 6 plus 2p into this is point load we need to consider it as a p star into length of the bar 2l by ae -E, a e area of cross section e a and e okay that's it it is point load now uniformly distributed axial load gamma it is gamma of course 2l length of the 2l square by 2e okay so gamma length square by 2e what is the length of the prismatic bar 2l that's it now you will get how much is this 3pl now 3p plus gamma l by 6 into 2l by ae plus 4 gamma l square by 2e finally how much you will get it it is how much 6 now 6 pl by ae plus ae gets cancelled out gamma l square by 3e correct 2 3 ja plus 2 gamma l square by e 6 pl by ae plus it is 3e gamma l square plus 6 gamma l square so 6 pl by ae plus 7 gamma l square by 3e this is all about axial deformation in the portion AB. Okay, axial deformation in the portion AB. Now, what about portion BC? Axial deformation in the portion BC equal to point axial load. That is P into length, length by area a area a into e is nothing but e by 4 e by 4 plus how much is this gamma dash here it is gamma dash l square by 6 e dash correct now 6 e dash now here 4 pl by a e plus it is gamma by 2 l square by 6 into e by 4 finally how much you are getting how much you are getting tell me 4 pl by ae plus uh, 3 na correct 2 2 z 2 3 z take it so finally gamma l square by 3 e you will get it take okay? 4 3 ja take okay? correct now check it out take gamma by 2 by here 2 2 ja 2 3 ja 2 2 gets cancelled out take okay? a final gamma l square by 3 now total axial deformation this is told axial in the portion bc now what is the total axial deformation Delta axial in the portion ABC equals to sum of these two 6 PL and means 10 PL by AE correct now 10 PL by AE now 8 gamma L square by 3E this is the 
total axial deformation this is nothing but delta axial in the portion ab plus delta axial in the member bc okay so you will get that is the expression for total axial deformation in the bar abc which is subject under point axial loads and we consider self weight of the prismatic bar and conical bar this is all about some of the good problem in uh, uh, axial loading diagram so this is axial loading diagram for that okay right on up to here here you can calculate what is the magnitude of axial load maximum axial load this is maximum axial load corresponding stress is the maximum stress what is the stress at the interface okay so everything we can calculate it right now what is the p maximum maximum axial load maximum axial load in the bar a b c p maximum equals to p plus gamma al by 6 plus 2p means 3p 2 gamma al that means uh, 3p plus 13 gamma al by 6 uh, correct na it is p maximum corresponding sigma maximum equal to p maximum by area 3p by a plus 13 gamma l by 6 uh, this is sigma maximum you will get at that point uh, a okay this is the maximum in the bar abc A B C, A B C. Okay, so now we need to calculate sigma axial in the bar A B at interface. What is the uh, axial stress in the bar A B at the interface? At the interface, what is the load acting at the interface? P plus. P plus this is nothing but gamma L by six. Gamma L by six. Gamma by two. Na so gamma dash equal to gamma by two. And two P also will get it. It is E. Correct na. So what is the load acting on the member A B? Load acting on the member A B at the interface. p acting and thus and 2p also acting at the interface on the member ab now 3p by a plus gamma l by 6 correct na gamma l by 6 next sigma axial in the bc at the interface what are the loads which are acting in the member bc at the interface only these two loads acting on the member bc at interface it is nothing but p it is it is nothing but uh, p only na it is p and then gamma l by 6 by a corresponding area of cross section p by a gamma l by 6 theek hai p by a corresponding a okay this is all about different types of problems which can ask in the competitive exams regarding static loading and self weight once you combine both the things uh, how to solve the problem how to draw axial loading diagram how to determine total axial deformation in the bar and uh, what is the magnitude of maximum stress uh, in the bar abc what is the maximum what is the stress at interface in the member ab axial stress at interface in the bar bc how to determine the magnitude of each and everything this is all about one of the good topic in axial loading diagrams right on up to here this is all about question number 8
till now we solved different types of uh, questions regarding axial loading diagrams i think we covered all the models uh, in axial loading diagrams i think uh, this is more than enough i will circulate you some uh, uh, practice questions regarding axial loading diagrams and practice those questions improve your knowledge in axial loading diagrams you will definitely get two marks in gate have patience and uh, spend enough time to get knowledge okay so thank you all the best to all of you thank you we can meet in the next class